Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another show, uh, another episode of the show. <clears throat> so we're going to start off uh, with this particular wine. <clears throat> now, I've got this wine, and then I'll have, for, for Monday, this one. Um, but anyway, this is uh, the non-vintage. thought so. I want to make sure. It's the non-vintage uh, Running Hair Vineyard Chardonnay. Now, it says American white wine. Now, I know that this is from Maryland. Uh, the winery is in Maryland, and they're from Maryland. Um, this is one of the wines I was supposed to do a Skype interview, or hopefully was going to do a Skype interview with uh, the winemaker. Um, but our schedules never coordinated, and we didn't really get a hold of each other. And I'm kind of at the end of my wine, so I kind of have to do some wine. And this is what I'm doing. So I had to wait for this. So I didn't start my timer. <clears throat> so um, uh, the gentleman, my name of Mike Scarborough, uh, started this in 2000. Started the winery in 2000. And it looks like what they did is they originally were doing it, they opened it up as a hunting, where they purchased it to be a hunting property. And then he realized that the soil conditions were great for growing grapes. So um, he had lived in France as a child and uh, the, 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 he, in 2002, decided to plant 100 vines. And then since then, he and his wife, um, or I'm assuming it's his wife, his wife, Mike and Barba, I don't know if his wife or his sister, but we'll assume it's his wife, have added several varietals of grapes, and the vineyard has expanded from the initial 100 vines to approximately 5,000 vines on an 8-acre vineyard. In 2007, they decided to um, begin commercial operation, and uh, so they've expanded. So we're going to pour a little bit in here, going to rinse this out so I can get the uh, that fire hose out of there, which, by the way, really good. And you know what? <clears throat> I'm sitting there talking about it, and uh, I tasted some pineapple later on, so that was probably what I was really getting excited about. Anyway, so uh, running hair, Chardonnay, uh, they make a bunch of different wines. They have a website, which obviously I'm looking at, and um, my good friend Amy from way back in the day at our Dave and Buster Cincinnati uh, days, uh, we met up through Facebook. We uh, she found out what I would do, what I do for wine, and uh, she was able to uh, get permission from from the people over at Running Hair to send me a couple bottles of wine to review. Now I don't have an exact price. Um, I know these are in I think a twenty to twenty five dollar range. So I know it's normally outside of the normal range for Leet Wine TV. But if you're sending me free wine. I'll, I'll review it. It could be a five dollar bottle. It could be a five hundred dollar bottle. I'll review it. I'm not going to complain. Now I will. Now I'm not going to ask you for your most expensive wine. I'm going to tell you, send me, you know, send me good wine, but you don't have to make it the most expensive. So let's check it out. Oh, um, about the Chardonnay, and it wasn't really on the label, but um, I'll just read this real quick, and I'm kind of excited about this. <coughs> uh, our Chardonnay is crafted with minimal oak influence. Uh, to allow the bright fruit characteristics of the Chardonnay grape to shine through. Um, now we'll go through the tasting notes and we'll see if I agree with it. Uh, fresh citrus and pear aromas lead to a nicely balanced and smooth expression in the mouth. And this is a Chardonnay to enjoy pre-meal and to pair with most chicken and fish entrees. They do talk about 2009 that they've won uh, the Maryland Governor's Cup Wine Competition Gold Medal, Riverside International Wine Competition Gold Medal, and the California 2009 Grand Harvest Wine Competition Bronze Medal. Um, I'll just be straight up and honest about medals. They are great. They are great for marketing. Um, there's nothing wrong with getting medals. Um, but, and it's, it's a but, they don't necessarily mean, uh, it, depends on the, it depends on the festival. Let's just be honest. Some, you know, these festivals, I have no idea how they are. I don't know what the competition was. So um, I just know that medals don't always necessarily translate into the same thing as uh, a wine critic, which I realize I'm not a true, I'm not a wine critic of the level of Robert Parker and um, uh, Jay Miller and all these other guys. I'm still trying to attain the level of Gary Vaynerchuk and the wine whore and who else? Uh, Naked Wine Show, all those other people. I'm still trying to get to that level. So, let's check it out. I'm really excited about this. So, uh, I just wanted to, like, make sure we didn't, like, get all big-headed before we try it and get let down. Hopefully, it's more like we're a little conservative and we go, wow, this is great. 
Okay, so far the nose I like. Um, now, if you've been watching me for a while, you notice that Chardonnays and, and me don't always agree if they're heavily oaked Chardonnays. So that's why I'm like, minimal oak. I like that. Just like um, uh, Passaggio wines, they're unoaked wines, naked Chardonnays, whatever you want to call it. I love those styles, okay? All right, so I'm not sure if I'm getting the pear. I'm getting the citrus. I'm not sure if I'm getting the pear, but I'm getting something very similar to that. Very pleasant. I do like the nose. Folks, this is, this is probably a difference between a $20 bottle of wine and an $8 bottle of wine, okay? Let's just be honest. It's going to taste better and smell better, hopefully. All right, so let's taste it at... Got a little bit of acid in there. Actually, a lot more acid. But there's a little bit of butter, which isn't bad. A little bit of that butterness, that buttery part. But it's a hint, and I like that. And I, I don't taste a lot of oak. I'm getting the citrus, and that's where the acid is coming from too. I'm getting the citrus. This is this is kind of like an unoaked Chardonnay. Um, it, it's it's got the acid in it. Uh, it's clean. I like it. It's got good mouthfeel. Um, I think it's better than most other Leet Wine TV Chardonnays I've had, as far as the ten dollar and under variety. Um, I think I have that pineapple thing again just now. I must be just, I must have a pineapple kick right now. Nah, not the really pineapple, but, but I'm still getting the citrusy. I like it. I, do, I, I really like this. It's got a bit of tartness to it, and not a bad way. I'm just trying to figure out what score I want to give. Because in the interview, I wouldn't have given a score. I would have said I like it or I don't. But since I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing face to face right now. I think I can do a score, and I can give a good score. I can give a good. I'm not going to give it a bad score at all. So I don't have to feel embarrassed about what score I get. Kind of give it, but I don't know. I'm going to go with 88, though I think other people might put it higher. And it's just, it's just the the, the varietal. It's not my most favorite, but I do enjoy it. Anyway, <laughs> so I have a little fun with my timer alarms. 88. And it's, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I do like, I like this a lot. And I like the other one a lot. I just gave it a 90. Why did I give this an 88? I think it's just, because uh, just, I like diversimeters better I like Chardonnays. And then and that's just the honest truth. But I think some other people might give this an 89, 90, 91. So, 88, I'll go with that. All right, so it's Friday. <coughs> what are you guys doing over the weekend? I'm going to the New World Wine and Foods Festi Foos? <laughs> Food Festival for the Grand Tasting Saturday night uh, down at the Henry B. Go Henry B. Gonzalez, uh, whatever center, whatever they call it. And it's supposed to be over the, on the Riverwalk and all that. So I'm really excited to go to that. Um, I missed it last year, and uh, this is really why I went to the doctor so I could, so I wouldn't miss it. Make sure I didn't have anything like really bad and contagious that was going to lay me up for five days. I wanted to make sure that if I had anything, I could knock it out so Saturday I could enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I've got that going on, on tomorrow. <coughs> and uh, if you're in San Antonio, if you're down there, um, you might see me walking around. So that will be really cool. Uh, if you're not doing it or if you've got something else going on, let me know. What are you guys doing? Put some comments down below. I'm not, I'm not going to do question of the day and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, leave some comments. What did you do this weekend or what – you know, what are you going to do this weekend? I told you what I'm going to do. And then Monday, we're going to try the other wine. Anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you for stopping in, uh, and we'll see everybody again on Monday.